right, kiddies, it's DLF. Oh my god. So, <laughs> I just, I just, last night I, I watched one of the dumbest movies I've ever watched. Okay, it was one of those so bad that it's good kind of things. Like, it, it was more bad than good. It was so fucking silly. It was so fucking dumb that I, I I think I need to talk about it. So I found this movie on Amazon Prime, um, you know, video Amazon Prime Video, right? And you can find it on there as well. Um, you might be able to find it on YouTube. I mean, it's kind of an obscure movie. It's called Microwave Massacre. Oh, oh my God. So, ugh. So the whole, the whole fucking movie, okay? So it's about this guy. He's like a construction worker, okay? And he's married to this woman. And, uh, this woman, like, ma like, she makes him his lunch for work and shit, but she's making, like, shitty food, okay? Okay, she's, like, making shitty food the whole time. Um, <laughs> it was so fucking funny. It was, okay, so one of the things she made him, I remember, was, um, like, but, like, all these guys, like, all, the, all his other co-workers are, like, eating like like sandwich like like you know like like turkey sandwiches and and whatnot and this this woman made her husband like a fucking like though literally she made him a crab sandwich or something and it, it was literally like a whole crab and the crab looked so fucking fake it's a crab on this huge fucking roll So, so he's like, he's like, fuck this shit. <laughs> he's like, fuck this shit. So he, he gets fucking drunk. <laughs> he goes to the bar, he gets drunk. He gets home to his wife. And she's feeding him like this bullshit. I don't even know what the fuck it was. But he's like, I want some real food or something. Oh my god. So he ends up he ends up strangling the fucking the wife, right? And and mind you the whole tone of this movie is like real campy. It's just like It's 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 more silly than anything. So he strangles his wife, and then he beats her to death with a with a pepper, pepper like one of those um things you put pepper in, and you go like that. Beats her with it with uh one of those till she dies. Right, and then he 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 wakes up the next morning, right, and he's like, oh, I don't remember anything, and he's about to go to work. And he's like, hey, where's where's my lunch? And she doesn't answer because he killed her. And then he looks, he's like, he looks in the microwave and he's like, and he's like, oh, she's in the microwave, she's dead. So he ends up cook. he cooks the fucking wife. He cuts her off and cooks the wife. And now he's, now he's bringing like, now he's bringing like fucking, uh, you know, her, her like her arm to work for to eat and shit and he's like he's telling us his co-workers that oh yeah we got a divorce and all this other shit and now I get to now I'm eating now I'm eating whatever I want you know none of this bullshit and uh he's like eating like, like what looks like a sub but it's like her arm it's just like a long thing that he has covered pretty much 
And he's like, you want a bite of this? And they're like, mm, that's the best thing I've ever had. Or <laughs> just fucking stupid. Okay, so then he's cutting up his wife, and he has it like her head in the fridge, like that. And um, so then he goes out and he starts, he starts like fucking these these hookers, and then cutting them up for you know for more for more fucking lunch. You know, and um, oh my god, it's it's so fucking hilarious. And there's all kinds of stupid fucking one-liners. Like, like I remember the one part where he's like, "I'm so hungry, I can eat a whore." <laughs> it's like, what the fuck? And it reminds me when the protected party used to say, "I don't want to watch a whore make pizza," you know, like that. And uh, there was this one. T there was this one part where, uh, like one of his, I think it was like one of his uh, coworkers were like goofing on him for like having a dirty car. He's like, "Yeah, I gotta go to the car wash and get an estimate." Like, like really, the car was like filthy. Like they had all kinds of dirt all over it. He's like, "Yeah, I'm gonna have to go to the car wash and get an estimate." <laughs> It was just so fucking stupid and just so dumb that I couldn't look. It was like a train wreck, okay? It, 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 it wasn't, it was, and then he ended like in the middle of the whole thing. Like, I guess the guy had a pacemaker in it, in him or something. So like he's like microwaving and it like affects, he has like a heart attack, right? And uh, he goes to this doctor, uh, who's like a complete fucking wreck as well. And uh, he walk, he walks, he walks into the examination room while, while, when the doctor is. So he's pretty much walking into the the second waiting room. You know what I'm saying? He's walking into the second waiting room, and the doctor's already in there. Like, how, why can't that happen when I go? You know, I usually have to wait like 20 minutes in a second waiting room uh, to see a doctor. But whatever. Um, so, he... So, the doctor's like behind this door, and he has like a, 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 like a, like a target on the back of this door. And he's like throwing fucking needles, like playing darts with like needles and shit. And it almost hits the guy in the head. So fucking stupid, I tell him. And he's like, he's like, yeah, there's nothing wrong with you. You know that that pacemaker will will save you from a heart attack. It's just, you know, he's like, and then the guy's like, well, so I don't have to go. So it's like most people get a physical, uh, an annual physical. I I gotta get an annual tune up. Okay, that's fucking stupid. And then he's like, he has like a shrink. He has like a shrink, he says like a Dr. Nintendo that he sees. <laughs> so he's like, he's like telling the doctor like all about him eating the wife and the doctor's like taking it like the wrong way. He's like, you know, I started eating my wife and he's like, yeah, you should be doing that. You should be, you know, as spice things up, you know. <laughs> Come on. He's like, we like to spice it up. Oh my god! And like the the fucking and the whole the whole time the doctor like he's going on like I feel like I feel like this that this guy the main character is like me a little bit and like imagine if this was done in like modern times this this movie came out in like eighty three I think and imagine if this happened in like modern times if if he was like d telling it to doing a youtube video well this this fucking this fucking main character is b going on and 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 the shrink is just sitting there sleeping like <laughs> you know? imagine imagine if i'm like imagine if i'm at the shrink and and that's all she does is like fall asleep cuz i'm i'm too bored or something <laughs> so at the end, what was it? At the end of the movie, um, at the end of the movie, um, 
I don't even understand the ending. But they showed a wife's head in the fridge, and uh, the the eyes start glowing red. It's really weird, and that was the end. But I I don't even understand what happened. It was it was so stupid that it was like, okay, the ending makes no fucking sense. Okay, and um, there's some highlights of it. He goes in he goes into like a he goes into like this fucking store, right? And he says, do you have any six-foot cookie sheets? Or do you have the, the, the jumbo size, uh, what, what do you say? He, do you have a jumbo size mason jar? Because he was trying, because there, oh, there, oh yeah, there's also a part, there's also a part where he, he, he does this for real. He takes a fucking hooker, kills a hooker, okay, and then he places her on the table. He places her, her uh, on top of a piece of uh, a huge piece of bread, like a, a huge piece of Wonder Bread. Puts another piece of bread, oh, a huge piece of bread, on top of on top of her, and then cuts through the fucking bread. I was like, oh my god, this is so fucking stupid. Oh. <laughs> It, it was so stupid, but it was so funny at the same time. Ugh. Well, if if you have Amazon Prime, or if you have YouTube, or anything like that, or if you just w try to find it on like a BitTorrent site, I don't fucking care. I don't. I don't. I don't see these. I don't see these guys. The people who made. I don't see them trying to profit off this. this I've never heard of this movie before. I just saw it on Amazon Prime. I'm like, okay, I'm I'm watching it. It it sounds fucking dumb. It is dumb. Go watch it. It's called Microwave Massacre. Okay, and it's it's on Amazon Prime. It's it's from '83. Just go watch it. It, you'll laugh your ass off, and you'll just be like, this is so fucking corny, okay? Go watch it. Okay, um, I'm supposed to get my new computer today. I can't wait for that. Um, I have to go to a fucking nutritionist. Oh, I, sh I should say dietitian, okay? I, I gotta go to a dietitian today at ECMAC. And I'll probably go swing by to Walgreens and pick up my computer after. But the thing is, is that, you know, I, I you got to call it a dietitian. You know why? Because from what I understand, the, the term nutritionist, <clears throat> okay, it's like, a, it's not even a real, like, term. Like, anyone can be a nutritionist. I can be a fucking nutritionist. Okay? It's not really a legal term, per se, but I mean, dietitian is like supposed to be the the um, you know the official term of it. From what I was told, you know, nutritionist is to dietitian, or I should say, dietitian is to nutritionist as a dentist as a is to toothologist. Okay. So, I gotta go to that. I'm not looking forward to that at all. I don't even know where this thing is in ECMC. And I have to be there like 15 minutes before you play. I gotta be there like an hour early so I can find a place. Let's check my sugar. Like my sugar. Come on. I hate this thing. Ow. Okay, that hurts. So that means... That means I'll get a good flow. Okay, there we go. Ugh. Let's see how much it is. What is it, like 800? Oh. It's 144. My sugar's actually been pretty, pretty decent lately. I mean, <clears throat> it hasn't been too high, it hasn't been too low. I've actually tried to make myself go really low. I can't do it. It's really hard for me to go really low. 
how low can you go? I would no seriously. I was actually I was actually trying my hardest the one day to go super fucking low, cause just to see what it was like. But I couldn't do it. Like the, the lowest I could ever go was like one ten. I was like, come on, you can't go any lower than that. I was pushing myself to go lower and I couldn't. <sighs> All right. Well, I gotta go to the food pantry. I gotta actually recertify that bowl. That bowl shit. So, yeah, this is Dragon Lord Frodo, and I approve this message. Thanks in advance for watching this.